Good evening, good evening. Welcome one more evening to I Am Reunion. My name is Dr. PJ, and I just want to thank the Lord for allowing us to be here together. And I want to thank my brother in Christ, Dr. Dale S. Jr., for allowing me to be on this platform. And this is a continuation. Amen. This is a continuation of the book of Enoch. Thank you, Father. Bless each and every one of them, the listeners, the participants that are listening to these biblical studies. As we move forward in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Now, we're going to continue. We are reading from the 10th chapter of the book of Enoch. And what we're doing is giving you the foundation of the book of Enoch to clarify in your spirit all the questions that you've been asking. Why me? Why who? Now you know why the world is in the condition it is. Now you know why you and your family is in the condition that it is. The community that you live, the violence in the community, the crimes, the liquor store, the drugs. Now you understand the workings of the Nephilim, the children of the giants and the children of the fallen angels that are still well alive. They have a plan to continue to destroy the normal people in this world. And their plan has come to fruition with abortion clinics, with locking up minorities such as black African American and black Native Americans. They have disgraced us, they have kept us in poverty, they have enslaved our ancestors, and they will continue with everything from the pharmaceutical, from the school system, from policing the black neighborhoods, entirely from persecuting women because women are the weaker vessel in everywhere. So they really don't like when a woman is empowered with the Holy Spirit. Also, the governmental one world order system and the religious one world order system. Because they have excluded the book of Enoch from us. They have excluded like 1,500 other books that are out there. That, they, them, those ancient um, scrolls, they don't want you to know the truth. They want you to believe in a gay lifestyle, in a drug, in all these porn videos, because the videos are porn. You can see the females half naked. You can hear the ly lyrics that are sexual, you know, undertone. They don't care. Rap, dirty music, they don't care. They want to, because they know themselves that they cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So they want to take as many souls as they can. The word of God said that the, that the devil deceived the whole world. So I'm here to open up your eyes, your spiritual eyes, your spiritual understanding. I'm here to edify you in the word of God. And we read again from the continuation of the 10th chapter of the book of Enoch. And in those days, they shall be led off to the abyss. A fire in torment and the prison in which they shall be confined forever and that is talking about Satan the fallen angels and any human being any natural human being that would not repent or any Nephilim descendant of a fallen angel that would not repent or any descendant from any giant in this modern day that will not repent. Verse 14. And whosoever shall be condemned and destroyed will from henceforth be bound together with them to the end of all generation. If you reject salvation, if you reject Jesus, if you reject any good thing, and you don't care, you have an unrepenting heart, an evil heart. And remember the the characteristic of these giants and these Nephilim and the children of the giants. They hate family. They hate women and children. They practice slavery. 
domestic violence and murder in the in the home they will murder the woman they will murder the children they will murder everybody around them they will run into a church and start shooting killing everybody then they will smile they will go in a store and shoot up the store there's the supermarket and they don't care they will smile those are the children of the giants those are the rh rh negative not all of them because whosoever shall repent even in their in their generation if your whole family is cursed and you wake up one morning and say i'm tired of this i'm going with the lord the lord will accept you that's what i'm trying to say it doesn't matter what generation you come from all you got to do is say i'm not going to follow my family tree i'm not going to follow my daddy i'm not going to follow my grandfather my great-grandfather i'm not going to follow my mama i'm leaving this and i'm going to stay away from them and love them from a, from afar but i'm going with jesus verse 15 and destroy all spirits of the reprobate because i told you the spirits are vagabond we have a lot of demons to bind up and a lot of evil wickedness to cast down because this is whole and the word of God is saying how do you overcome they overcame by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony right now I'm giving you the word of my testimony the written word of God is my our testimony and your word that coming out your mouth and your heart after you study after you receive after you receive the knowledge and the wisdom and the understanding the word of God that coming out of your mouth that's where you overcome the enemy Cast down, casting down every wicked imagination, the demon of lust and sexual perversion, the adulterous demon, any entertaining demon with sexual affection towards somebody, and you know you are a married man or a married woman, repent. Repent. Any wicked imagination, cast it down. This is serious. I'm telling you, this is what they don't want you to know in the churches. You're hell bound because the word of God said, even if you think about it, even if you fantasize having sex, you already committed adultery in your heart. You already committed adultery in your mind. And he said, he will destroy all the spirits of the reprobates. And remember what we studied in a couple of verses before. That the bastard is not when a woman have a child or out of wedlock. The word bastard is a person who is mixed with fallen angels and human being. They're both. They're half human and they're half angels. And they say, and, and, the, and the children of the watchers, because they have wronged mankind. The children of the fallen angels, even the ones that you see in the political system, the ones that you see in the movies in Hollywood, the ones that you see singing all these reprobate songs and dirty rock music and all of that, the Satan worshippers in the music system, the satanic worshippers and the Luciferian you see on TV in the soap operas, in the movies, the reprobate man and the Luciferian you see in the government and the politician, the leaders. The leaders, the so-called leaders of the world, the one world order system. They are your senators and your congress people. Even those who sit in presidency, you know, you must know by now who are the Nephilians. Because what? The children of the watchers of wrong mankind. It didn't say Adam and Eve wrong mankind. It said the children of the watchers wrong mankind. Verse 16 of this chapter 10 of the book of Enoch. Destroy all wrong from the face of the earth. And let every evil work come to an end. And let, and let, the, plant, and let the plant of righteousness and truth appear. And it shall prove blessings. Approve of blessings. The works of righteousness and truth shall be planted in truth and joy forevermore that's what god did he done it and he's going to do it again and then shall all the righteous escape and shall live till they begat thousands of children see this happened when the flood right before the flood and after the flood took them away but right after the flood there's a second group that we don't even know the number of those. We know the first one was 200. 
There's a second group of fallen angels that came down again to have sex with a woman. And they went to each and every race that was upon the earth. They went to every race this time. Everybody they went to. Molesting everybody and doing another evil level super perversion super wickedness super e e e evil on the earth and god had to send the angels again that's why every now and then you're gonna see a giant pop up because you go have a normal female that look normal and a normal man but when they lay together they produce what a giant it is because they both had the gene of the fallen angel the Gino Opla, and you can Google modern day giants, and you're gonna see almost giants are alive right now. Even in Georgia, we have giants. In every state, in every island, everywhere you can find a giant, eight, nine, ten feet in a year. I believe the nine feeder over nine feet is in China right now. Because the one that was in Africa, I think he died, but they have some more. From the south, southern part of the, of of, um, of Africa, in South Sudan, they are the tallest people in the world, and um, some of them even play basketball professionally. Keep your eyes open spiritually and your ears open. Even in West Africa, we have tribes that say like their father came down from heaven and was an angel and impregnated the mother. That's why we have confusion to this day in Africa. You got two set of black people living in Africa. You got the native African and, and, and that we, they consider the Hebrews. And then you have another influx of black Africans that when they snatched the woman away from the tribes, they, they mated with them and started their own tribe, gave them different language. And they have the, the oral stort, stort, and, and history where they say their father was a fallen angel and produced giants among them. Even in the Native American tribe, there was giants. There, there was a story about a giant that he will destroy the vegetation and steal their food and block off the water so the water won't come down to water um, the, the, the vineyard where it was planting the farm and the land. And he did a lot of stuff, but finally they killed him. They grabbed him and they killed him. And they took care of that. God gave them the strength. So we will have to fight the giants. In this second time when they came down but we don't know the exact number of them but it was a lot because for the problems that we face in today is a lot swindlers kidnappers you can't even travel to certain country because it will kidnap you racism all of that is part of the fallen angels because the person who is racist and prejudiced believe in their heart that they are superior because they are not 100% human. Some people call them lizards, elite, half-breed. The half-breed are bastards because the half-breed is a fallen angel. Not a, not a normal human being. Having a child out of wedlock, we just read it, does not make you a bastard. Born in out of wedlock does not make you a bastard. What makes you a bastard is that your father, your ancestor, your father is a fallen angel. And we're going to continue to read in chapter, in verse 17, at the same chapter 10. And then shall all the righteous escape, and all shall live, till they begat thousands and thousands of children, and all the days of their youth and their old age will come complete in peace. And then shall the whole earth be till in righteousness, and shall all be planted with trees and full of blessing and all the desirable trees be planted on it and they shall plant vines on it and the vine which they plant thereon shall yield wine abundance and as for all the seed which is sown thereof each measure of it shall bear a thousand and each measure of olives shall yield ten presses of oil and cleanse though the earth from all oppression and from all unrighteousness and from all sin and, and all godlessness and all uncleanliness 
that is wrought upon the earth, destroy from all the earth. It shall be destroyed from all the earth. And it happened. It happened when God used Noah and the flood came. So all the trees, you see, we have to give the man Adam his props. Adam was the one who named all the animals that we have in the animal kingdom. Plus, Adam, Adam became the tiller of the ground. It was Adam who taught the other people how to grow food. Because it, God did not have a tiller of the ground. Because prior to Adam and prior to the sin that they committed in the garden with, with, with Satan, the serpent, man did not have to plant the food. You see, what the fallen angels did brought us to this point that where we at. The first set, God cleansed it because remember, if you read the book of Romans chapter 1, it's going to tell you how creation itself was crying out to God. The, the people who died, the men who was eating and slaughtered and ate the blood of men and women, they were crying out to God after they died, absent from the body present with the Lord. So God did something. He, he cleansed them and he sent the flood and washed them away. But you have to understand that even in the time when they was in Egypt and the time of, of where David, there was already giants. They came back again. Even to this day, there are giants on the earth. You see, they washed away all their uncleansiness. In verse 21, they say, and all the children of men shall become righteous. You see, it is not God planned for us to have jailhouse and all these criminals. Because even the good normal people will join a gang, will pick up a gun, will do things, steal. You know, they say, if you, is a man steal for bread or for food, don't kill him. But even stealing is a death penalty. Robbery is death penalty back in the Bible days. The thief on the cross. Verse 21, and all the children of men shall become righteous and all the nations is, shall offer adoration and shall praise me. And shall worship me. That's what God is saying. And the earth shall be cleansed from all defilement. And from all sin. And from all punishment. And from all torment. And I will never again send them. Upon it from generation to generation forever. And in those days I will open the stores of chamber of blessing. Which are in heaven. As to send down upon the earth. Over the work and labor of the children of men. God will even bless your good works. He will bless your labor. That's why being rich is not a sin. It's the way oh, you acquire your riches. Some people believe like selling dope and selling drugs. Go make them rich. But they end up getting killed and they never enjoy the money. Or they end up winding up in jail. And wither and get old. So it's, it, it, God blesses the person who work hard. If you work hard, you can be a very rich a millionaire too. That's why you say he will pour out the blessing upon them. And this is chapter 11. Peace and justice will be, will be weeded out through all the days of the world and throughout all the generation of the world. Hmm. That's true. Before all these things, Enoch was hidden and no one of the children of men knew where he was hidden and where he abode and what had become of him and his activity had to do with the holy ones and with the watchers in in his days you see god took enoch but nobody knew where enoch went but god was using enoch to deal with these he wanted to show Enoch all these things because also Enoch was a prophet, a teacher, and a scribe. He was a high priest. You could say that. So one Enoch was, was blessing the Lord of majesty and the king of the ages. And lo, the watchers call me. See, when, when, when Enoch was blessing God and doing God bidding, the watchers, those same fallen angels called to him. You see, God wants us to live in peace and glorify him. 
But there's a bunch of these Nephilians who turn up the world upside down. They turn it up. Child slavery, child human sacrifice, um, um, human um, 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 slavery, sex slavery, human trafficking. All this wicked stuff comes from them. Remember, sex is their foundation. When the watchers, the fallen angels came down, they came down for one thing. To corrupt themselves and defile themselves with women. People who have constant sex and can't stop thinking about sex. What do you call Yuf Hefna? Yuf Hefna? You think he was normal? Come on. Come on. Verse chapter 12. We are in verse 3. Enoch the scribe. And say to me, Enoch was a scribe. He was a he was one who was writing down the tablets of what we studying today, and what happened in the garden. It was Enoch, the descendant of Adam. Enoch, those scribe of the righteous of the righteous one, those books that Enoch wrote, like the book of Adam and Eve, a lot of books. They just disappeared the books, but they're popping up every now and then. They will pop up. Go declare to the watchers of heaven who have left the high heavens, the holy eternal place, and have defiled themselves with women, and have done as the children of earth do, and have taken unto themselves wives. Ye have wrought destruction on the earth, and ye shall have no peace nor forgiveness of sin. And, it's, and in as much as they delight themselves in their children, the murder of their beloved ones shall they see. And over the destruction of their children shall they lament. And shall make supplication unto eternity, but mercy and peace shall not attain. This is their punishment. And God is using Enoch. To go and tell them what's going to happen to them. And this is chapter 13. And Enoch went and said. Azazel. That's the leader. That's the wicked leader. He, he, he was the one who conjured all this stuff. And tell them. Let's jump down to Mount Hermon. Right there in the borderland of Assyria. Look it up. Mount Hermon. H-E-R-M-O-N. And look at that mountain. They descended there. This is what your pastor and your bishop don't want you to know. I'm spilling the beans. Well, you know, they say a woman should preach. But I looked at that bishop and I said, oh, so a goat can preach? A goat? <laughs> a goat should be preaching, but not a woman? Hey, because they are goat. They worship Bafferman. They worship Satan. They go and they join all these Freemasons. And the higher they go, they do all kind of wickedness. And they let their wife jump into the eastern star. And the things that they do to their daughters and to the children. Hmm. Secret society. Azazel, thou shalt have no peace. A, a severe sentence has gone forth against thee to put thee in bonds. And thou shalt not have toleration nor request granted to thee. Because of the unrighteousness which thou hast taught and because of all the works of godlessness and unrighteousness and sin which thou hast done to men. Then I went and spoke to them all together. The two hundred of them. And they were all afraid. Yeah, they was afraid because they know the man Noah. They watchers. They can see. They can see from far. They can stay from one location and see miles away. Just imagine what kind of creature they created here and what they was doing with creation and the things that they taught. They shall be afraid and fear and trembling seize them. They was afraid and they besought me and drew up a petition for them that they may find forgiveness. So they, they wrote up a petition. You see, they always write new laws. They always put another law on top of law to cover themselves. And to cover their children when the children them commit crimes. But we now, what they call us, minority, but really we are majority. If you are with Christ, you are majority. 
Because greater that he is in me that's who is in the world. And you have at your disposal millions and legions of angels from heaven that you can call and ask God to send them down and fight for you. Hmm. God of a, a God of a very equipped, most powerful supernatural army than any of these, you know, airborne and you know stuff that we see. Yes, they want they want to write a letter to God. <laughs> There's a ritual that they do in the Caribbean and in Africa. When people die, they write a letter and stick it in their hand. They put a letter in the person's hand when they're going in the coffin. They drop a, they, they go and they put a letter in the person's hand. They go petition, petition. The living ain't got nothing to do with the dead. The living ain't got nothing to do with the dead. That's nothing but voodooism and witchcraftism. Mm -hmm. And it says that they brought a petition to the Lord of heaven. For from henceforth they could not speak with him. They were separated. Nor lift up their eyes to heaven for shame of their sins. For which they have been condemned. There's no redemption. There's no forgiveness for fallen angels. Fallen angels and giants. There's no forgiveness for you. There's no forgiveness for Satan. These pastors need to go and read and study the Hebrew, the Mazara, the Chaldean, the Aramaic, the Septuagint. They need to go back and study. And ask God to help them. Because you know what they've been saying? Even Satan gonna be converted. Satan cannot be converted. These fallen Nafa, these Nephilim, these Anakim, these Giba, these fallen angels. These half-breed bastards and these, 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 these reprobates, they cannot be redeemed by God. God is done and true with them. And Satan is the leader. He's the head honcho. Everything came through him. Even what took place in the garden of God. In the presence of God. Satan is nasty. It's bozic. Six. Then I wrote out their petition and their prayer in regard to their spirits and their deeds individually and in regard to their requests that they should have forgiveness and length. Forgiveness and length of days. You know, they want to live longer. They wanted their children to live 500 years to bring more havoc on the earth. And just destroy the work of God. The natural people must be destroyed. In starvation. In poverty. In slavery. Think about it. In, 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 in cars wrecking on the highway. All kind of wicked inventions. Deprivation. How much you paying for gas. How much you have to pay for food. How much you got to pay. These are the descendants of the giants that you see doing these wickedness. Verse 7. And I went off and sat down at the waters of Dan. In the land of Dan. To the south of west of Hermon. I read your petition. Till I fell asleep. And behold a dream came to me. And visions. And, I, and fell down upon me. And I saw visions of chastisement. And a voice came bidding me. I to tell it to the sons of heaven. And reprimand them. There was reprimand them. There was rebuke. God rebuke the petition. God rebuke it. When the wicked pastor is telling you like Satan going to be redeemed. You tell him, oh, Dr. PJ, you know, she told us about the book of Enoch. I'm going to get me a book. And let me go buy me a book and read it for myself. Nine. And when I awake, I came unto them. And they were all sitting together, weeping with your faces at Ublesha Hill. Who bless your hell, which is between Lebanon and Sinister. Sinister was a this was a was a was was a was a town, and the borderline is between Lebanon and Lebanon is where. Go back to Africa, look to the east, okay, with your faces covered, and I recounted before them all the visions which I had seen in sleep. And I began to speak the words of righteousness and to reprimand the heavenly watcher. 
He began to rebuke them. God told them, rebuke them. God said, rebuke them sharply. How do you overcome? By the blood of the Lamb and the word of, the tes of your testimony. You got to study the word. So when the devil see you a mile away, he will pick up and he will run the other way. And when, when those satanic watchers, because they're here in the spiritual realm. They got people who call me and say, something is having sex with my husband every night. Something is molesting my husband. And they go around from one state to the other state to somebody say, call this woman. Let her pray for you and your husband. You see, that's the anointing of God. You don't got to go out there and beg. You don't got to go out there and advertise. They will find you. They will find you. They will find your number without you even publishing your number. And the book of the words of righteousness and all the reprimand. Of eternal watchers according with the commandment of the holy great one in that vision and I saw in my sleep what I will now say with a tongue of flesh and with the breath of my mouth which the great one has given me to converse dear with and understand with the heart as he created and given to man the power of understanding the word of wisdom, and we always pray for that. For wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Ask, ask, and it shall be given. Knock, 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 and it shall be open to you. See, God is a spirit, and you got to worship with worship him in spirit and truth. So, had he created me also, and given me the power to reprimand the watchers, now today you have that same power to reprimand them. You go and reach, read the book of Luke chapter 10 and start in verse 19. Where God gives you the power as a child of God to reprimand them. But beware, you better be living right. You better be cleansed. You got to live right. You cannot go sleeping with somebody and then say you're going to reprimand the devil. A demon might just slap you down. It happened, I've seen it happen before. They will smack you down because you ain't clean. You ain't righteous. You remember what happened to the sons of Zebedee? All six of them called themselves doing exorcism. And the, the demon jumped up and said, Jesus I know, Paul I know, who are you? And he read the clothes off of them. I seen a woman, she called herself casting out the demon out of her brother. And she got punched down and beat down. And then they came downstairs and they said, you need to go upstairs and pray if something going on up there. And when I went up there, I had my bottle anointed oil and my Bible in my left hand. And I threw oil at him and he just fell asleep. They do not respect people who are double-minded, backsliding, and two-minded. You, you, your man ain't connected to God. Your spirit is not clean. Beware. But you have the power. If you want it, there's, there's a, you, you have access to the power through the blood of Jesus. Yes, you do. See, Enoch said, gave him the power to reprimand the, the, the watchers, the children of, of heaven. Hmm? Verse 4, at that same chapter 14, I wrote out the position, the petition in my vision and appeared thus that your perdition will not be granted. They would not get eternal life. They would not get forgiveness. Your petition is not granted, Satan. Your petition is not granted, fallen angels and gibas and, and anakims and giants. Your petition is not. You have the opportunity and you didn't want it. You disobey God. Okay? Bluntly disobeying God. Telling people that you're on the grace. You can go and sin and do as you will. Do us your will is what they're saying. Satanism and Luciferianism. That's what they say. Do what you want to do. Go kill, steal, and destroy. Go. <laughs> it will not be granted unto you throughout all the days of eternity. And that judgment was, has been finally passed upon you. Yeah, your petition will not be granted unto you. And from henceforth you shall not ascend into heaven unto, unto all eternity. And in bounds of the earth, the decree has gone forth to bind you all the days of the world. So this world is not over yet. We in the first tribulation. After that, great rise throne judgment, they're going straight in the pit of hell. There is a hell for them. 
Not for human beings. But if y'all want to go there, that's up to y'all. Six. And that previously, you have seen the destruction of your beloved son. And ye shall have no pleasure in them. But they shall fall. They shall fall before you by the sword. And your petition and your belief on your behalf and your behalf shall not be granted, nor yet on your own. Neither your petition, neither your children or your children, children, those offspring, those misfits that you created on the face of the earth, and you taught them how to talk that the men how to kill each other, how to murder each other with weapons and do wickedness, you will not be granted eternal life. Even though you weep and pray. And speak all the words contained in the writing which I have written. And the, the, and the vision was shown to me thus. Behold in the vision clouds invited me. And a mist summoned me. And the course of the stars and the lightning speed has hastened me. And the winds in the vision caused me to fly and lifted me upward. And bore me into heaven. And I went in. Till I drew nigh to the wall. Which is built. Of crystals. And surrounded by tongues. Of fire. The tongues of fire. Those tongues of fire. In, in the book of Acts. Is the different languages. And it began. To upright me. And I went into the tongues of fire. And drew nigh to a large house that was built of crystals, and the walls of the house were like mosaic floor made of crystal, and its groundwork was of crystal. Its ceiling was like a pot of the stars and the lightnings, and between them there were fire cherubim. There was cherubim, and your Heaven was clear as water, a flaming fire surrounded the walls, and its portal blazed with fire, and I entered into that house, and it was hot as fire, and cold as ice. And there were no delights of life during, fear covered me, and trembling got hold upon me. And as I quake and tremble, I fell upon my face and had beheld a vision, and lo, there was a second house greater than the former house, and the entire portal stood open before me, and it was built of flames of fire, and in every respect it so ex excel in splendor, magnificence, and extended that I cannot describe to you the its splendor and its extent and its floor was as fire and above it were lightnings and the path of the stars and its ceiling also was flaming fire and I looked and I saw during a lofty throne its appearance was of crystal and the wheels thereof as the shining sun and there was a vision of cherubim. And from underneath the throne came streams of flaming fire that I could not look thereon. And the great glory sat thereon, and his raiment shone, is shone more brightly than the sun and was whiter than any snow. None of the angels could enter. And could behold his face by a person of the magnificence of his glory and had no flesh and no flesh could behold him. The flame and fire was round about him and a great fire stone before him and none around could draw near him. 10,000 times and 10,000 stood before him, yet he needed no counselor. Amen. Yeshua. Oh, thank you, Lord. And the most holy ones who were not 
to him did not leave by night nor depart from him. And until then I had been prostrated on my face trembling and the Lord called me with his own mouth and said to me, Come hither, Enoch, and hear my word. And one of the holy ones came to me and waked me, and he made me rise up and approach the door, and I bowed my face downwards. Chapter 15. And he answered and said to me, I heard his voice, Fear not, Enoch, thou righteous man and scribe of righteousness. Approach hither and hear my voice. And go say to the watchers of the heaven, who have sent thee to intercede for them, you shall intercede for men and not for men and not men intercede for you. You see, the, angel, the angels were supposed to protect and guide us like bodyguards. Whatever petition we have, they're supposed to tell God because the word of God said the angels, they behold the face of God. They're looking at God. Everybody got a, a, a guardian angel that minister to you. But also the enemy assign an evil demon to minister to you. Negativity. And that's on the left side. And the good angel is on the right side. So when they sent him to make intercession for, for them and their angelical beings. God said no. They, you should not make intercession for them. They should be making intercession for men. That's what that was created for. To serve mankind. Angels was, 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 was created to serve mankind and I will repeat again you should intercede for men and not men for you tell them that wherefore have you left the highly the high holy and eternal heaven and lain with women that's what God said they lay with women and defile yourself with the daughters of men and take him to yourself wives and I'm done like the children of the earth and begotten giants. They begotten giants as your sons. Hmm? Have you done that? And though ye were holy spiritual. Living the eternal life. You have defiled yourself with the blood of women. And have begotten children. With the blood of flesh. And the children of men. Have lusted after flesh. And blood. As those also who die and perish. You see what God is saying? That they have a mass, but their mass in their body is eternal. Although they have the same organs, but it's eternal. They don't grow old. They don't have gray hair. They don't get sick because they are eternal. And when you die, you go into another body. Okay? And it says here, Verse 5 of chapter 15. Therefore I have given them wives also that they may impregnate them and begat children by them that does nothing may be wanting. See, God gave us riches and to live our families. Hey, hey, he made everybody rich. Nothing may be wanting on earth to them on earth. He provides for them. He gave them Wives to impregnate, to begat children, and that nothing may be wanting to them. Nothing. You should walk for nothing. Next thing, our children need shoes, our need clothes, our need to pay tuition. All of these things is created by them and their wickedness. Them fallen angels and their children are still controlling the world, they control the, 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 the monetary system of the banking system, the silver, the gold, the diamonds. They control everything. Because they're wicked and they was able to multiply themselves. See, it is the art of duplication. When a man there with a woman, he have five children. He don't duplicate himself five times, right? A man will marry, have five children and duplicate himself five times, but through a woman. 
when you read them in the Bible, the family tree, you don't see the females names there. You only see begot, begot is all male. Because the, 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 the chromosome, the, the baby sex, everything comes from the men. So they think that they could come down here and duplicate themselves. And God taught them a lesson the first time. He brought, he brought death upon them. He bound them up. He killed their children in front of their eyes. He made them war against each other. He made them devour each other and eat each other. Because they were eating normal human beings. So he made them, them giants eat them own self up. And now they want to turn a life. And God said no. This was not given to you. When he put us on earth. In a garden. In the six day creation. Genesis 1.26. He gave us everything. Wanting nothing. We're not supposed to be to wanting nothing. But because of them. They snatch. See Satan cometh not to, but to steal, kill and destroy. Verse 6. But you were formerly spiritual, living the eternal life and immortal for all generation of the world. And therefore, this is what God's saying. Let me turn down the page. And therefore, I have not appointed wives for you, but they still come in, in the spirit as incubi and succubi, having sex with the men, molesting them and molesting the women and the children. Incubi succubus are fallen angel demons that are roaming the earth a spirit. They are allowed to do that. God has allowed them to do that because that's all we get tests. That's all you build yourself in the army. That's all you get some backbone. Hmm. He said, I have not appointed wise for you. For as for spiritual ones for the heaven, in heaven, in their dwelling. There's no need for women in heaven. They didn't need a wife. And now the giants. This is God talking. And now the giants who are produced from the spirits and flesh. Because they are spirits. And the women are flesh. Shall be called evil spirits upon the earth. And on the earth shall, there, shall be their dwelling. So this evil spirits that is roaming the earth are the spirits of all of these giants. All of these fallen angels. They are evil spirits. They're roaming the earth to this day. Now evil spirit has proceeded from their bodies because they are born, they are born from men. You see? The daughters of men. And from the holy watchers and from spiritual beings. Beings that can see fall. Beings that can jump high. Beings that can, they look like us. They're five foot seven. They're six feet tall. And they can jump high. They can fly. They can go through the wall. They can go through the water. They can do a lot of things. They don't die because they are eternal spirits. They're external spiritual beings. They're not flesh and blood and they weren't supposed to come down here and partake of no sex and need to have sex with women in their menstrual cycle. Because I was told that the albino people that you see around the world is because of the fallen angels having sex with women on their period. I was told, you know, if the science probably can't prove it, but this was told by me, by a Hebrew scholar, because I asked him, where do you think they come from? Okay. And they come from the fallen angels having sex with the women, impregnating them while they're on their period, on their menstrual cycle. Okay. And it says here, the holy watchers is your beginning and primal origin. There shall be evil spirits on the earth and evil spirits shall they be called. As for the spirits of heaven, in heaven shall be your dwelling. But as for the spirits of the earth, which were born upon the earth, on the earth shall be their dwelling. And the spirits of the giants afflict and oppress and destroy and attack, do battle and work destruction upon the earth and cause trouble. They take no food, but nevertheless hunger and thirst and cause offenses. And you have to understand. Now you're understanding what I say. And when you have time, go on Amazon, 
and order the book of Enoch. But make sure you get this one from the Hebrew scholar. His name is H.R. Charles. H.R. Charles is a biblical translator and Hebrew scholar in many languages. So um, it says here, the hunger and thirst, you see all that, that we got to deal with. All that spirit of madness and those generic disease that people have and the doctors don't know why. Gigantism and they call them little people and midget people. People that are three feet tall. You know all that this is the wickedness that for the fallen angel. All the misfit people, children born with two heads. Oh, you know, and it didn't split because it over it didn't split in two and it didn't, no. Those are the children then that they tainted their GNA. And the doctor call it mental illness. But those are evil spirits. And generic disorders. It come from them. All the asthma, all the sickness come from them. And the spirit of the giants afflict and oppress and destroy and attack. That's why we do battle. That's why we pray the way we pray. And the work and destruction upon the earth and cause trouble. They take no food, but nevertheless, hunger and thirst and cause offenses. Because they get hungry, but they can't eat. They are spirit. And these spirits shall rise up against the children of men. You see? And against the women. Because they have proceeded from them. So you see you have fathers who gave their daughters to these entities. And they got women who will go and to a cult and lay with a spirit. There was a young woman years ago. A very rich black woman. Not calling no names. Not important. When she came to the little ministry. I had, I had a little small little building. She came there. And she told her husband to sit outside. And she came in. And I was with my husband cousin that day. And she came in and she said, I want somebody told me about you and I want to talk to you. I said, You can talk with her. I want her to listen. And she was telling, like, when she was so and so so in college, they told her that like, you gotta join this group. So she joined the group. But then they told her her initiation to move up to some other level. She wore a gown, but underneath this gown, like a robe, she had no clothes underneath it. So when they put her on the table, they told her she had to lay on the table and open up her legs. So she did. And she said something had sex with her. Some invisible thing had sex with her. And she said ever since that, she started having problems after when she left the group. She left the group. And because years passed by, she left the group and would not go back to the group. She got married to a very famous person too. Hmm. I ain't calling no names. But she couldn't have any children. And this thing haunts her. It's something that psychologists and psychiatrists, no medication can help you, only the blood of Jesus. But she came on the right place at the right time. One prayer. Listen, if you are anointed, you don't got to chant like witches, like these watchers and these fallen. You don't got to. One prayer. One prayer. And that was it. That's all I say. One prayer. That's how you got to live right. You got to talk right. And you got to walk right. And you got to keep a clean heart towards your, your, your neighbors. Because I was brought up like my neighbors, my brother and sisters. They are my brothers and sisters around me. Whether they reject you or not, you know, you treat them like brothers. You're not going to love thyself like oh, you want somebody to love you. You love them back the same way. If they don't talk to you because of your skin color, just move on. God is good. Now in chapter 16, we're going to close out. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for these teachings. Bless each and everyone and thank the brother in Christ, Brother Dale, for this teaching, for allowing us to be here. And I say, I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I defeat you in the name of Jesus. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.